Hi everybody, it's Jennifer McCreeth. It's July 8th, 2021. As you all know, or maybe you don't, big fan of uh, the Eagles, the, the music band, not the football team, although they are good. Glenn Fry, the first Eagle to pass on. Um, July 8th is a special day in his career, 1992 after the Eagles were on their, or during their so-called 14-year vacation. It's a great line. The band broke up in 1980. They, they reform in 1994. He says, we never broke up. We just took a 14-year vacation. So Glenn was doing the solo thing in 92. He went over to Dublin, Ireland and filmed a uh, concert. And it was really, really amazing came out on VHS that nobody bought except me and it was hard to find and the CD sold a little better many 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 moons later it's all finally available but uh, that was before I even knew who they were I didn't discover the Eagles till 94 and they very quickly became I mean I wasn't even interested in music back then but I heard them on the radio and I'm like this is good stuff so we're going to fast forward to July 8th, 2000. And by then I had seen the Eagles uh, live in concert in the Hell Freezes Over tour. And uh, Don Henley had just put out a solo album and toured and I went to see him live and it was amazing. Then I find out Glenn Fry is coming home to Royal Oak, Michigan to play a small little theater. And I lived in Toronto at the time, so it was only a three-hour drive to Detroit. So I uh, got myself a rental car. Went on to Ticketmaster and got a second-row seat for the Royal Oak Music Theater. And uh, Glenn was there. Technically his solo band, but it's a lot of the, the same people that back up the Eagles were there. People like Al Garth. All the guys playing saxophones and trumpets and fiddles and... I can't even remember who else was there, but uh, Glenn went on and played, it had to be a three hour show, played some Eagle songs, a lot of solo stuff, and a lot of covers as well, and uh, it was just one of the most amazing, I've been to a, probably four to five hundred concerts in my life, but that is definitely one of my all time favorites. I hope that Glenn would make July 8th an annual thing, but I don't think he ever did another July 8th solo concert. Um, he went on to pass away at the somewhat young age of 67, and he's been gone, is it five years now or six? Miss you, Glenn. Loved your music. Um, I think it's great that his, one of his sons is now playing with the Eagles, and the band continues. Deacon Fry. He really looks looks like him. He's got the old ha long hair going. He looks like a young Glenn Fry, which is kind of cool because you got this t what 25 year old kid playing with a bunch of 70 year olds. But uh, long live the Eagles! They're still alive. The, the rest of them, anyways. Then they're even planning to go on tour again later this year. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to throw those memories out there and. Uh, we think of Glenn Fry, and we love his music, and we remember him today. And uh, that's it. We'll talk again. Um, I'm gonna do more videos about my concerts because I've been to so many, and a lot of them have involved some interesting road trips and a lot of amazing experiences. Uh, but yeah, never forget Glenn Fry, Royal Oak Music Theater, July 8th, 2000. I'm Jennifer McCreeth. Thanks for watching.